Hey, it's Kath. Join me as I prepare three dishes I want to learn how to cook. We have easy beef gyudon rice, karaage style fried chicken, and tamago style omelette. Tara, let's cook with magic. Kaya ang kaya mo na yan. Ako na, syempre. <laughs> Welcome to the Maggie Kitchen, where the magic happens. I am so happy that I am starting my cooking journey with Maggie and of course, with you guys. Today, marami akong matututunan dahil I will be cooking with Chef Eric. He is Maggie's culinary development chef who knows a lot about preparing simple, easy, and tasty meals. Please welcome Chef Eric! Hey, Kat. What's up, Chef? Sorry. <laughs> Kas, balita ko, foodie ka. Totoo ba? Yes, totoo yan, Chef. I've always been a foodie for as long as I can remember. Talaga for me, yung food, nagdadepend yung mood ko. So, food na kinakain ko everyday, oh, it makes me happy. So, especially when traveling, I'm very open um, trying out new um, cuisines, especially pag spicy yan. Mm -hmm. Sobrang trip ko yan. Kung magluluto ka, sino naman ang pagluluto mo? So, I enjoy preparing or cooking food for my loved ones, especially kapag diba, na-appreciate nila. So, ngayon, Chef, um, Meron kasi akong i-host na maybe brunch or dinner with my friends for our get-together. So I really want to um, prepare something na easy but at the same time, um, hindi ganun ka-complicated. So meron ka bang mare-recommend? Ako, Kat, napaka-special nitong recipe natin kasi ito napaka-simple pero yung audience impact napaka-taas. Audience parang, impact? <laughs> correct, kasi I love yung, it. Okay. Yung, once you put everything in the pot, Okay. You can leave it ng 15 minutes, tapos it will cook itself. So what are we uh, making, Chef? An easy beef gyudon rice. It's uh, another take from a very traditional Japanese recipe na beef gyudon. Mm -hmm. But we are going to cook it uh, in one pot, so rice cooker lang gagamitin na. Rice cooker lang na lahat tayo, meron yun at home, especially us Filipinos. Yes. And I love gyudon. Pag nagta-travel, especially in Japan, as in, I love beef gyudon na may masarap na kanin. So, shall we run through the ingredients? Yes. So, ang ingredients natin for our beef gyudon rice is, of course, we need beef. So, this is one quart kilo of beef belly, sliced thinly. Ang next na ilalagay natin is yung ating mga pampalasa. Of course, gagamit tayo ng 1 sachet, 8 gram of Maggi Magic Sarap, mm -hmm. and 2 tablespoons of Maggi Oyster Sauce. With that, lalagyan din natin ng garlic, lalagyan natin ng brown sugar, and lalagyan natin ng onion. First, kailangan natin ng rice. So, ng this rice. one is Siyempre. just two cups <laughs> ng rice. But if kaya ninyong pumili ng short grain rice, it's better. Kasi di ba yung beef gyudon, lalo sa Japan, medyo sticky yung rice. Yes, yeah, super sticky. So, you get that from the short grain rice na hinugasan na, tapos din rin yung mabuti para ang sisipsipin na lasa ng rice when it cooks, yung flavor ng Maggi Oyster Sauce tsaka ng Maggi Magic Sarap. Alright. And then, good for how many people to chef? Usually, three to four servings na itong recipe na to. But okay. of course, you can double the recipe kung gusto mong mas marami yung serve mo for your family and friends. And for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> kung mag-extra rice yes. ka. And also, to finish, lalagyan natin ng corn, spring onion, egg for added protein. Konting sesame seeds for texture and for flavor. So first, i-season mo and ma-marinate muna natin yung ating beef. Alright. Okay, so, Hugas na ako, Chef. Yes. My hands are clean. Ayan, so, okay yan, Kat. Okay. Alam mo, pag nag-aaral ka magluto, kailangan hinahawakan mo yung ingredients. Kasi you can almost feel kung ano yung nangyayari at nilalagay yung pampalasa doon sa meat na isi-season mo. So now, we're going to season it with 1 sachet 8 gram of Maggi Magic Sarap. So guys, important na tandaan na every half kilo of any ingredient na lulutuin ninyo, 1 sachet 8 gram ng Maggi Magic Sarap. And remember, we're not just seasoning the beef. We are also seasoning the rice later on. So alam mo, pag gumamit kayo ng Maggi Magic Sarap, hindi mo na kailangan maglagay ng salt. So we will get all our seasoning from the Maggi Magic Sarap. Okay, so after Maggi Magic Sarap, we're going to add now Maggi Oyster Sauce. So 2 tablespoons ng Maggi Oyster Sauce. Tansya ko na lang, Chef, yes. no? So this will also give the color and a little bit of sweetness dun sa ating beef. Next, we're going to add brown sugar. Onion, one piece na cut into strips. Mm -hmm. Then garlic. Garlic. Pwede ba, Chef, damihan yung garlic if ever? Before you add more, try mo munang i-mince mabuti yung garlic. Kasi once na yung garlic, ma-mince mo nang halos mash na, okay. almost a paste, the same amount will give you more flavor. Will it matter, Chef, na for example, um, same day, dun ko siya lulutuin as compared to, you know, storing it sa freezer or refrigerator, mas flavorful ba? With this recipe, dahil thinly sliced yung ating beef and we're using Maggi Magic Sarap as our base uh, seasoning, mm -hmm. hindi kailangan actually magantay. As little as five minutes of marinating while you prepare the rest of the ingredients, kakagat na yung lasa niyan. Plus, wow, may oyster okay. sauce pa tayo. So, talagang malinamnam at malasa yung ating beef. 
Okay, so after natin ma-marinate yung ating beef, we can now start with our rice. Eh? Alright. Ito yung 2 cups natin ng short grain rice. Nahugasan na at na-drain na. Uh, guys, remember, kapag ka short grain rice, 1 is to 1 ang ratio ng rice and water. So, 2 cups of rice, 2 cups, cups of water. Of water. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, we're going to add our beef. Ah, diretso na. Yes. So, yun yung maganda sa recipe na ito, Kat. Niluluto mo yung rice, sabay na nung ulam. Yan na siya, Chef. Ang yes. bango. Oh my God. Tsaka tipid din siya. Di ba usually, ayaw ng mga... Like ako, I don't want, ano, I don't enjoy washing dishes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, ito parang isahan lang. Yun yes. lang kailangan mo. So, lagay na natin sa rice cooker. There you go. Ang galing, Chef. Parang magic lang talaga. Ang daling gawin, nilagay lang namin lahat sa rice cooker. And before you know it, Luto na. So, this is perfect para sa mga busy, kagaya ko, mga beginners dyan, na gusto nyo pa rin, syempre, ng extra special recipe despite our limited time to cook. So, Chef, aside from this recipe, ano pa yung medyo similar na masasuggest mo na um, ganito kadaling gawin? So, meron tayong adobo rice, pwede yung white chicken rice, mm -hmm. or even, alam mo, yung mga traditional arroz balenciana? Arroz, oh my God, gusto yan ng mom ko. Pwede rin mo rin gawin sa rice cooker. Yeah, and there you go, Chef. Should I open this na? So, wag muna. I Ikakrack muna natin yung ating egg para pag uh, bukas natin, pupour kagad natin yung egg. Okay. Okay, and then pour on top of the beef and rice. Oh my gosh, luto na yes. siya. Ang ganda, so pretty. I'm <laughs> proud na proud. <laughs> Akala mo naman. <laughs> Nilagay lang naman natin okay. siya lahat. Okay, so we add the eggs. Yes. Then the corn. Ayan, so cut. Don't forget ha. Wag mo na i-click kasi we want just to the carry over cooking of the rice to warm the corn and to cook the eggs. Okay, so just let it be. Yes. Let Leave it, it 10 minutes, tapos luto na yan. Okay. Ready ka na ba? Ready na. <laughs> Favorite part ko to, Chef. Eh. Wow, it looks so good. Ang bilis. Yes. And I want maraming beef, Chef. Yes, so <laughs> lalagay ko Extra sa ibabaw yung, yung Thank beef. you. <laughs> There we go. Mm, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Sarap. Sarap ng napasayaw. Maggie Magic Sarap ang sikreto sa pagkamalasa ng rice dish na to because it's the number one all-in-one seasoning made with fresh garlic, onion, real chicken, and spices. Pinagsama-sama na lahat ng kailangan natin para mas sumarap yung mga dishes na niluluto. Okay, on to the next recipe. Okay, let's go! Dito ako pinaka-excited. <laughs> okay, so we have here our karaage-style fried chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's si start. Sino ba yung may ayaw sa fried chicken? Di ba? Parang mm -hmm. lahat favorite yung fried chicken, lalo yung kids. First, kailangan natin ng 1 kilo ng boneless chicken thigh, 1 sachet, 8 gram of Maggi, Magic Sarap, okay. and 2 tablespoon of Maggi Oyster Sauce. Okay. Maglalagay din tayo ng grated ginger. So, dapat ba um, Thai pork, Chef? Or it doesn't matter naman, depending on your preference. For fried chicken, it's always good to use dark meat ng chicken. So, that's your leg, your thigh, and your wings. Kasi for more flavor. And medyo mas forgiving siya pag nating sa drying out pag kaniluluto yung fried chicken. So, now we're going to season it with Maggi Magic Sarap. Okay. Okay, next we're going to add 2 tablespoons of Maggi Oyster Sauce. So, yung dalawang ikot kanina, di ba? That's yes. 2 tablespoons. Yes. One. Two. Yan. Okay. Just add the ginger, tapos pwede mo na i-mix together. Ginger. Yes. Habang mini-mix mo yan, I'll prepare our coating. So for that, Chef, kailangan ba same amount yung corn starch and flour? Yes. So we're using two kinds of uh, starch here. Kasi yung kailangan natin is the crunch and kailangan natin ng color. So yung ratio is one part um, flour and two parts corn starch. One part flour and then two parts. Okay. Yes. So, we can now add our flour and cornstarch mixture. Tapos toss mo lang well together. Okay. So, dapat fully coated siya, Chef, no? That's a very important cut, ha? Yung kasing pag nakakita ka nung parang wet part of the chicken, yes. yun yung una masusunog. As a beginner cook, maganda mag-start kayo ng boneless chicken kasi mas madaling maluto at sure ka na hindi ka mahihilawan. Delikado mm. kasi yung fried chicken kapag kahilaw yung loob, di ba? Totoo! Yeah. Yeah, lagi yung nangyayari sa akin. So, yeah. boneless pala. Preheat nyo muna yung pan before you add the oil para at least ma-maintain mo yung tamang temperature ng oil. So, my question, Chef, how will you know if the oil is hot enough na lalagay mo na yung chicken? 
Of course, ang technical na temperature is 365 Fahrenheit, pero kung wala kang oil thermometer, you can simply use a wooden spoon. Okay. O sige. At kung nakikita mo nagbabubbles na, that's the correct temperature for the oil. Pagka okay. masyadong konti, malamig pa yung oil. Okay. If it's too violent yung paglabas ng bubbles, that's too hot. So this is perfect na, Chef? Yes. Para hindi mag-splash yung oil, you drop it halfway and then let go. Let's go. Oh. Halfway, let go. Yes. Wow! Ang ganda! Yes. <laughs> ang ganda niya, Chef! Flip na natin. Yep. Wow, it's golden brown! Gusto okay. mo ba ng mas malutong na fried chicken? Yes, the crispier, the better. <laughs> yes, so yung crispiness na yun, you will be able to get that aside from using cornstarch and flour is if you do the double frying method. Meaning, pag light golden brown, about 2 to 3 minutes, lagay na kagad natin sa ating cooling rack. Now, if you notice, we're using a cooling rack. We're not using paper towel. Yes, yun nga yung tatanong ko, Chef. Di ba usually, dapat yes. paper towels daw? Ako hindi ako pa ng paper towel kasi ang nangyayari, yung ilalim ng chicken, hindi na tatamaan ng airflow. Okay. So, nawawala yung crispiness ng ilalim. So, na-cool down na natin yung ating first fry ng chicken. Yes, Chef. Uh, importante yan kasi sa second fry, papalutungin na lang natin yung labas. Okay, so this one's ready na, Chef. Yes, ready for our second fry. Ikaw na? Kayang-kaya muna Ako yan. Ako na, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Big girl na. Okay, let's start with this. So, tama pa rin ginagawa mo. Do not overcrowd the pan. Okay. Kasi kahit anong init niya, kapag bigla mo nilagay lahat, magdadrop din yung temperature. So, mas nakikita mo, mas golden brown. Yun! Diba? Ganda na ng kulay. Perfect yan. Okay. Let's now prepare our serving dish. So, naglagay lang ng shredded cabbage. Pwede mo na siyang iserve ng mas bite-sized pieces. And if you notice, very juicy yung ating chicken. So, tama yung luto yes. na. Yes, saktong-sakto yung luto na. Cheers! Mmm! Ang kaka-happy! Masarap! Malutong, juicy. Flavorful. Ang magi magic sarap, pag ginamit natin sa pagluluto, hindi na natin kailangan gumamit ng salt, ng pepper, ng MSG kasi all-in-one na to. Meron na tong garlic, onion, turmeric, may sugar, may pepper. So all-in-one, nandun na lahat ng pampalasa natin para pasarapin yung mga egg dishes and vegetable dishes natin. Okay, now let's try it with the ano, lemon. Mmm! Sarap din may lemon. So we prepared for you garlic sour cream. Super syrup talaga. So you guys, you have to try this. Super worth the calories. Dapat chef, ito yung most viewed sa maggie.ph. So try nyo, send us your photos. We'd love to hear it. And let's move on to the next recipe. So, ang ating third dish ay tamago style omelette. Tamago is Japanese word for egg. Actually, ang mas common na tawag dito is tamagoyaki. Tamagoyaki. Yes, so egg na ginigrill sa pan. Ooh. Okay, so but ang gagawin natin is the simpler and easier version and we're going to make it more special with Maggi Magic Sarap. But before kita turuan nitong dish ito, gusto ko munang matutunan mo how to determine kung fresh yung itlog. Get a flat surface like a small plate, we crack it, tapos we first put it in a small bowl. Okay, anong purpose ng small bowl na yun? Kailangan Walang amoy. Walang lansa at all. Walang lansa, walang kahit anong uh, odor yung itlog para okay. masabi mo fresh. Okay. Check, walang amoy. Yung second criteria is when you look at on the side, makikita mo bulging yung yolk. Mas mm -hmm. buong buo rather than flat. Yes. Meaning very fresh yung itlog. Okay. Okay? Now, if nakapasa sa standards ng freshness mo, you can add it to the bigger bowl. Fresh po yan. Okay. okay. So, yes, you can start cracking. So, guys, huwag kayong tama rin sa step na to ha, kasi delikado talaga. Minsan, masisingitan ka ng isang uh, hindi na fresh. Wala na, sayang na yung the rest of the egg na nabuksan mo. I'll show you how to beat the eggs kasi pag marami, medyo mahirap, di ba? So, yes. first, uh, intentionally, i-aim mo yung yolk one by one. Ayan, so nakikita mo, mas madali siyang i-break, di ba? Okay. Mas maganda lang kasi sa pag gumagamit ka ng whisk, mas na i mas nagiging light and fluffy yung egg. First, we're going to add carrot, syempre para balance, uh, malasa at pasustansya pa din yung ating magic log. Maglagay tayo ng green, so pwede kayong gumamit ng spring onions, scallions, or even parsley, pwede. Maglalagay tayo ng one sachet, eight gram of Maggi Magic Sarap. Okay. There you go. 
And last, dahil ang tamago, uh, popular naman na mis na mis, we're going to add about one and a half tablespoon ng white sugar naman. Ito yung question ko, Chef. Yes. Why not brown sugar? Di ba kanina we Good. used brown sugar? Good question. If, okay. we, if we add brown sugar, yung pagiging brown ng brown sugar will affect the color of the tamago. That's why we only need the sweetness. We don't need the color and flavor of molasses. That's why we're using white sugar. Alam mo ba, yung iba ang traditional na recipe din, gumagamit sila ng dashi. So yung dashi is a mixture of uh, bonito flakes of fish and okay. seaweeds. But since we use Maggi Magic Sarap, completely replace the dashi. Kasi ah, we still okay. get the meatiness from the chicken. Kompleto na at may added flavor pa ng garlic and onion. Ang galing. Sobrang yes. convenient. Pinipreheat ko na low heat yung ating pan. Okay. So meron tayong 2 tablespoon of oil. 1 tablespoon muna. And you can pour your beaten egg. Okay. A ako mag-pour. <laughs> I can pour, you can pour. Okay. Sige, scrape mo lang yung, sa, yung bowl. Scrape the bowl. Okay. Okay. Kailangan i-stir kagad natin. So, Kat, ito yung importante pagka nagluluto ng ganitong klaseng dish. So, para siyang torta or parang pritata, di ba? Yes. Kailangan keep on stirring until maging around 70% cook yung egg. And then, clean the sides. Clean the sides. Tapos, when you clean the sides, make sure na pupunta siya sa doon sa gitna. So don't forget to use here a uh, non-stick uh, heat-resistant silicone spatula para mas na-scrape mo yung gilid. Ang saya. Any time of the day, parang ang sarap na ito kainin. Hindi lang for breakfast. Almost nasa mga 70% done na yan. So spread it out para magpantay. Para when we flip, pantay yung surface na yan. If you shake the pan at ayaw niyang mag-slide, ibig sabihin, hilaw pa yung ilalim. So okay. wag mong uh, pipilitin. Pilitin. Yes. Hayaan mo lang. Hakita mo umalsa. Yes, umalsa na. Yun yung sinasabi ko. So now, what we'll do is, I'll get a plate. Cover it. Confidently, in one motion, you have to play. Confident and then you pray. <laughs> okay. Sana buo. Okay. Oh my God. So, now okay. the, the oil. oil. Yes. Tapos, we are going to slide back our egg. Napabalik pa. Yes, this Perfect. one will cook the other side. Mukha siyang grilled kasi yun talaga yung hinabol natin para mukhang tamagoyaki. Okay. So, while I slice this into bite-sized pieces, please prepare the dipping sauce. So, simple lang okay. naman itong dipping sauce natin. So, meron tayong water. Okay. We're going to add Maggi Savor. And we're going to add also ginger, radish, and sugar. You have to taste para sure ka na masarap according to your taste yung lasa. Okay. Medyo matabang pa, Chef. Yes. So, let's oh. add more. Feeling ko ito na yun. Perfect! Yes! <laughs> Akala mo, ang hirap ng ginawa. Mmm! 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 Ang sarap! Okay, now let's try it with the sauce, Chef. Yes. Half-half. Mmm! Iba din. Pero this alone, masarap na nga, Chef. Yes. Wow! This is good too. Bugs na bugs talaga yung lasa ng Magic Mug na to. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I love it. Madali lang talaga to, lalo na readily available na sa pantry, no? You know, kailangan lang ng konting patience. Yes. And Chef, we are done. Thank you so much, Chef Eric, for cooking with me today here at the Maggi Kitchen. I am so excited to try all these recipes at home and serve them to my loved ones. Thank you then for tuning in. I hope nag-enjoy din kayo at sana marami rin kayong natutunan like me. So please, try the recipes too, share about your experience, and tag us at Maggie Philippines. Be sure to subscribe also for more recipes and videos.